Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. Today I'm gonna to be continuing on with my Chinese food tour in LA by visiting another great hot pot restaurant. If you guys remember in one of my last episodes, I talked to you guys about Beijing style hot pot, which is really awesome by the way. So now I'm gonna to go to a restaurant that specializes in a hot pot that is more known, especially here in LA and of course in China, Sichuan style hot pot. So I'm going to this restaurant called Da Long Yi, which is one of the most popular Sichuan hot pot restaurants that you can find even in China because there's like 200 locations there from what I heard. I think it's like a franchise and this is their Los Angeles location. So I'm very excited to be able to try this. So if you guys want to see what authentic spicy Sichuan mala hot pot looks like, especially here in the US, then you have come to the right episode. So stick all the way to the end so you can see this amazing hot pot feast that I'm going to have at this restaurant in San Gabriel. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I release these awesome food videos weekly that you don't want to miss out on. So while you're doing that right now, gonna get my car started and let's head out there to San Gabriel. Here it is guys, Life Plaza Center, it's outdoor shopping center, two stories and the restaurant I see it, it's up ahead on the second floor, Da Long Yi Hot Pot, here I come, oh yeah. Here's the menu guys, look how nice it is. This is the hot pot section. You can have your choice of broth, like the whole thing could be spicy. You can make it mild like with the mushroom soup or we can do is like this three flavor pot, which is what I think I'm gonna do today. And then of course the sauces, the specialty meats all down here. Yeah, you got quite a lot to choose from. So one of the great things about hot pot is you get a lot of meats and a lot of vegetables and you can have a blast in your pot. Tomato-based broth, which is this one up here, and some sort of a mushroom-based broth, which is this one all the way in the bottom, and this one is the spicy one. Oh man, that looks so deathly spicy, yikes. <laughs> the making of the sauce is pretty easy. You put the peanut sauce, some of the oyster oil sauce, along with some minced garlic and the sesame oil which is always lovely green onions oh yes and some of that cilantro and then you mix it around and that's it you are good to go so while the pot is boiling let me show you some of the adventures that i got going on here those right there are the shrimp balls very interesting never seen it like that before and some gizzard, another first time as well. This one is some sort of spicy beef. Oh yikes, it looks so, so spicy. I'm kind of terrified to eat this, but they recommended it as one of the house specialty items. And some vegetables. We got cabbage here, and lotus, corn, tomato, all that good stuff, very healthy. Okay, beef tripe, some sort of a tofu platter. Looks like it has three kinds on here. And this one is like fried crispy fried pork, it's on their menu as an appetizer. It looks really good. They call this one the smooth beef slices. That looks so interesting, wow. And the Angus beef ribeye, that one looks really good. Some more tripe, okay, veggies. Goes in there, tomatoes, and lotus root. Some corn as well. You see how many selections they got here? I only got like the tip of the iceberg right here. And uh, definitely want to get my gizzard in there as well. Let's put it here. And uh, let me also get, you see this big piece of beautiful Angus ribeye? Oh yeah. This one don't cook too long. Maybe about like 15 seconds or 10 seconds and it should do the job. So definitely watch it so that it doesn't become overcooked. All right, here we go. Dip it into some of the peanut sauce and we are about to begin. Mm. 
Man, that is some high quality meat, soft and melt in your mouth. I love this peanut sauce too. Peanutty, creamy, with a little bit of that oyster sauce flavor to it, with the refreshing taste of the cilantro and onions inside. Oh, delicious stuff. The broth, like the mushroom broth, you don't really taste it as much because it's very light. So it's not gonna overpower the meats and the vegetables. And I would say the same with the tomato broth as well. Yeah, slight tomato flavor, but with the spicy one, I think you're definitely gonna feel it. So maybe I'll take it easy first and try. Okay, what about the, yeah, this is the smooth beef from the tomato broth. Wow, that smooth beef tastes pretty good. You know what it tastes like is like that beef they put in the Mongolian beef or the beef and broccoli. You know what I'm talking about? Those beef slices they use in those dishes, how it's really soft on the outside. That's exactly how this one tastes like. Maybe I'll try some of the tofu as well. Mm. Oh, <laughs> good. That's so good. Yep. Tofu and peanut sauce, it's like a marriage made in heaven. Oh yeah. So this is that spicy beef that's been boiling inside the spicy part. Oh man. <laughs> Whoa, dude, that's like spicy. You can taste that chili on top of it. Whoa. Oh man. I'm warning you, this thing is really spicy. Whoa. That's spicy, whoa. Have a cup of water ready. There's a reason why they call it spicy hot pot, like Sichuan Mala hot pot, because it is super spicy, like really spicy. If you guys are into that, then you will have a blast here, but me, I'm kind of a wimp in that area. So what I think I'm gonna do is maybe just stick with the mild side. I was not raised eating spicy food, I'm sorry guys. Wow, and I believe that this is the first time I'm eating corn in a hot pot restaurant. Well, corn is corn. I don't know what else to say about it. If you love corn, you'll definitely like this. But, I like the fact that they cut it into these small pieces so it's not like so overwhelming in your mouth. Take a little at a time, you know what I'm saying? So they do have Wagyu and Kobe beef slices. It is pretty expensive, but if you want the experience, high-end beef slices, they got it right here. Oh yeah, this is so exciting. First time having Wagyu beef in a hot pot restaurant. Never ordered it before, don't know what it's like. I'm assuming it's gonna be really good. I hope it's really good, right? And be sure to put it in a lot of this peanut sauce to get the maximum peanut flavor. Mmm. So the Wagyu beef, it looks like it has a little bit more of a chew to it than the Angus beef, but still pretty good. Very marbled, very soft. Very delicious, of course, in the peanut sauce. You saw everything that they got on the menu. So yeah, definitely get their Angus beef, which is really good. Get their pork crispy appetizer. Their vegetables are pretty good as well. I mean, it just kind of depends on your preference what you want to eat. But overall, if you're into really spicy hot pot, then I think this is the place to go because from a lot of the testimonies I've heard from Chinese people who've come to eat here especially, they said like this is really the authentic amazing experience with high quality meats and very creative cuisine in some ways as well. So anyways, I hope that helps you to be able to find some really great hot pot restaurants in Los Angeles. So if you happen to be in San Gabriel, stop by this restaurant, Da Long Yi, and enjoy the amazing hot pot here. And I hope you have a really tough tongue so you can be able to handle this. And that's something I discovered about myself. I don't think I can really handle it as well as I thought. Anyways, maybe you guys will do better. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Rockstar Eater. If you enjoy what I'm doing here on the show, give me a thumbs up. 
and also comment on the section below if you had this before love to hear your story and also subscribe like i said so you can get these videos on a weekly basis well, i hope you have a rocking day today folks and that you'll try some of this rocking hot pot sometime soon and be sure to also click on my other videos so you can see some of the other chinese food adventures i've done all around los angeles so i'll see you guys in the next video